Hey guys, it is a void. Congrats, Willings. If you want today, we're gonna be talking about equipment you need to start YouTube. I'm gonna be saying three things in each group, and I'm gonna be recommending one and saying which one is the best for you guys. So, which one is the best for starting off at YouTube? So, I'm just gonna start off at capture card. So, there's three. So, there's the Elgato HD, Elgato HD 60, and the Elgato HD Pro. So, the Elgato HD starts at $149. It records at 1080p and records at 30 FPS. So, this is the one I use. It's actually really good if you're just starting off at YouTube. I definitely, definitely recommend this one if you're just starting off at YouTube. The next one is the Elgato HD. 60. It starts at $179. It records at 1080p and records at 60 FPS. This one is better if you guys have like a bigger fan base. Like if you guys have like a couple thousand subscribers. The only thing that this really upgrades is the FPS. And I don't really notice that in any videos. So if you guys are want to record in 1080p 60 FPS, go ahead and get this one. I recommend the Elgato HD though. The next one is the Elgato HD 60 Pro. This one starts at $199. Records 1080p and 60 FPS. You guys might be asking, what's the difference between this one and the Elgato HD 60? This one is actually better for streamers. So if you're gonna, wanting to get into streaming, this is actually really good. This one's actually an internal capture card. The other two are external, so they're like there's like a little piece of hardware that just like stays outside your computer. This one actually goes into your computer and like plugs in inside your computer. So this one's really good for streaming because there's no delay coming from your Xbox or PlayStation or whatever to your computer. So like you can pretty much just play on your computer with the Elgato HD 60 and the Elgato HD. There's actually I think a three second delay or something going from your Xbox to your PC. So it's not that big of a difference, but it's really good for streamers. So if you guys are looking to get into streaming, I recommend the Elgato HD 60 Pro. But if you guys are looking to get into YouTube, I recommend the Elgato HD. So now we're going to be talking about microphones. So mics, there is the one I use, which is the Blue Snowball. That's the one I'm using right now, but I'm going to be upgrading pretty soon to a new microphone. In December, at the beginning of December, I'm going to be getting a new microphone. So the Blue Snowball starts out $59, and it's a pretty good starting mic. Like, it's a really good for starting YouTube. It's decent quality. Like, you guys are hearing it right now. This is what a Blue Snowball sounds like. It's a pretty good microphone, I guess. But I'd, I recommend it if you're just starting off. But if you guys have a couple thousand subscribers or something, I recommend getting a different mic. Like the Audio Technica AT2020. That is the next one. So it starts at 199 for USB and 109 for XLR. So an XLR is where you plug it into the mic. You plug it into like an, a blue icicle or something. Then the icicle plugs into a mix amp. The mix amp plugs into your computer. So it's actually technically costs like maybe $300 for all that stuff. So if you guys are wanting to get the AT2020, I recommend getting the USB unless you want to get an XLR, which makes the bass in your voice come out a little bit better. USB mics are way better if you're just starting off at YouTube. If you're just starting off, I recommend getting the USB. But if you're a little bit more advanced or you want to get an XLR one, I recommend getting the XLR because it's a big difference actually. It's not that big of a difference, but it's a big enough difference that you can actually tell. It brings the bass in your voice a little bit more. I don't have an XLR mic. I've never had one, but I've heard them on live streams and stuff, so they're pretty good. And the Auto Technica AT2020 is actually really, really good quality. This is the one I actually going to recommend in this category. The next one is the Auto Technica ATR2500. This is the one I'm going to be getting pretty soon. It starts at $122. It's a pretty good mic. It sounds really good. It has great quality. So the one in this category that I recommend is actually going to be the Audio Technica AT2020, but if you're just starting off at YouTube, I recommend getting the Blue Snowball. It's really, really good. So now, editing software. If you guys are going to be making YouTube videos, you guys are going to need to edit your videos, like edit all the mistakes out and all that stuff, edit some cool things in. What I use is Sony Vegas. It's a really good. You can get it for free. You can get it. I don't recommend getting it for the free version. You guys, the free version is illegal to get. Don't get it. But if you guys really want to, go ahead. But I'm not encouraging you guys to do that. If you guys are wanting to get it, I recommend actually getting the full version because you can update and stuff because there's updates that come in and they're pretty good updates this is the one i have it's the best editing software you can get in my opinion it's but it's advanced so it takes a little bit of learning to get used to the next one is camtasia it starts at 200 dollars. it's easy to use and it's really easy i actually have this one on my laptop and the next one is going to be windows movie maker this is a pretty easy one to use it's free it's not the best but it's good for just starting off at youtube so yeah that is it for the video if you guys enjoyed please leave a like and subscribe also go in the comments and tell me if you guys have any of this equipment if you guys are going to be getting this for christmas if you guys want to start youtube because I'd be really interested in if you guys are actually going to start YouTube, that's, that would be awesome. If you guys are starting YouTube, good luck. It's really fun. It's really fun. to At the beginning, it's really slow, but it gets really fun once you start growing and getting views and getting a fan base so you can interact with them and all that stuff. So yeah, that is it for this video. If you guys enjoyed, please leave a like and subscribe. If you guys really enjoyed, please share the video. Thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.